This question comes from a reader who writes, I have a nagging question about peace of mind. Doesn't that lead to stagnation? When people stop struggling it leads to lethargy and aimlessness. The heart of my question is is struggle a universal truth? I have tried to give everything to the spirit but am limited in being aware of the true potential of doing that. Okay. I think that many readers may share your confusion. I will start by stating that what you are encountering each and every moment in the now simply is. It cannot be changed. It is, it's here now. There is no rewind to allow you to go back and to make it different. It is what it is now and could not be anything else. This is no small matter. We could say that this is everything. Your whole question centers around changing what is. There is nothing that you can change. The mind responds, oh maybe not the now but I can change the future. I can build a tomorrow that is better than the now. My next question is to ask what is wrong with the now? You might construct a laundry list of what is wrong with things as they are. How do you know each of these items is wrong? Does it feel bad? Is it uncomfortable or painful? Are things not the way you want them to be? In your mind there is a past. Is any part of what you are unhappily experiencing now a part of the future you chose for yourself then? Have things turned out exactly as you planned? Why not? These are important questions to consider. There are many parameters to this. Maybe you have asked for something different than what is but find your request seemed to have little impact. So, what do you do? How many times do you try to run into that wall until you accept there is no doorway there? Perhaps you lack the power to change how things are. Secondly, what makes you think that you know how things should be? Are you certain? Each one of you can recall things in what appears to your past which were not pleasant, perhaps painful, and which you certainly would not have wished to have happened. But these events changed your experience of yourself and life in such a way that you can now have gratitude for their occurrence. Had it been up to you, you would not have chosen those happenings. Yet they helped you move through barriers that had previously felt to be impenetrable. Perhaps you are begging to and wondering if you can go forward and grow without having pain. The answer seems to be apparently not, at least you have not demonstrated that ability up to this point. The suffering is not brought about by what occurs, but by your resistance to it by your struggle. So, we come back to this now. It's the only place you are ever going to be. If you reject your now but claim instead you will create a better future, you will end up in a perpetually unacceptable now trying to create a better future. There is no future. There is just now. The only way that your now becomes acceptable is to accept it as it is. Otherwise, you will continue as you have, day after day, year after year, incarnation after incarnation, searching for a better now, looking everywhere but within and to this moment. There cannot be stagnation in the now because everything is in constant movement. Stagnation comes from the mind trying to control what cannot be corralled. So, stop trying to fight it, stop trying to change it, stop feeling the victim. Accept the present fully as it is. Lethargy and aimlessness are consequences of repeated failures to create the world you think you want. Why even try any more, you might think. Such a result is not a bad thing. As we have spoken about above, this can lead you to finally accept what is and find a peace that has always evaded you. It seems and this is the fear you expressed in your question that the choice is between struggle as a universal truth or aimlessness and lethargy. Are you sure those are the only choices? You said that you have tried to give it to spirit but are limited in knowing the true potential of doing that. If when leaving things to spirit you have an idea of how you want your situation handled, you haven't left it spirit. If you have a picture of the outcome, if you are directing spirit in any way, you are not leaving it to spirit. You are still struggling, still trying to change the now. Leaving it to spirit begins with accepting what is here now without a thought of changing things. This isn't such a bad idea because it is here. There is nothing to be done about it. The horse is already out of the barn. There is nothing for you to do. Giving it to spirit requires only that you are aware of what you are giving, that you surrender any part of the handling of the situation. 
give the present year full attention, letting go of all thoughts which are of the mind, not of spirit. Your mind has a goal and wants to reach the top of the mountain. There is no top, there is just climbing. There is just goal after goal after goal. There might be a brief respite in realizing a goal, but it is soon replaced by a new target. No achievement is enough. The ego is in full control. Giving it to spirit is the end of goals. Even giving it to spirit cannot be a goal, only a pointer, only a reminder to notice when you are not doing that. Home is not a goal. It is where you are now. Stop. Pay attention. Let go. See what is here. These goals and this struggle are all based on the belief that nothing is enough, that you are not good enough, smart enough, lovable enough, successful enough, evolved enough, deserving enough to be welcomed into the loving arms of the divine. So on and on you struggle vainly, like Sisyphus, to reach what cannot be reached. None of those thoughts or fears are true. Again, just stop it. Let that mind go. Pay no attention. See what spirit is bringing you now. When you give it to spirit you let go of all thought of control, all addiction to fomenting change, all lack of trust in the perfection of what is. You may ask, how can I do that Sandhya? It is my habit to do all of those things, how can I stop? You become aware of that. Notice when your mind wants to take over. Don't act on it. Ignore what your mind is saying and bring yourself back to noticing the present. Your mind will likely go absolutely nuts with this. You will feel that your health, your body, your finances, your whole world will fall apart if you don't exercise control. Notice all of that and give it to spirit. Don't look to the future, don't consider the past, your only focus is on what is here right now. What you are likely to be absolutely aware of in your now are extremely uncomfortable emotions. Wonderful. All of your actions in your past have been to avoid facing these feelings. Now, that is impossible. Welcome to your now. Keep releasing your thoughts about these feelings. Avoid labeling them. Feel them. Notice where they occur in your body. Fully experience the sensations. Release the desire to chase them away, to change them, to rationalize their existence, or to understand them. Just let them be. Set them free to express however they might wish to do. Your job is to watch, feel, and follow. Notice where you hold a definition of yourself as depressed, angry, jealous or whatever.